loves and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new my name is Morgan. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my review of my Senriv Midi Maestro bag. Full disclosure I am a Senriv ambassador but I will say it was a very organic way of working with them because I already owned their bags and they saw my post and reached out and I am not being sponsored to make this review this is my own review my own opinions but this bag did come from part of working with them so just full disclosure it does not change my opinions i'm going to show you the pros and cons what fits inside some modeling shots the usual and i'm also going to give you an idea of who i think this size would be good for because this bag does come in three different sizes you guys have seen my aria belt bag in my best travel bags review and that bag i bought myself before working with them and i had several other bags from them on my wish list i actually let you guys choose this one on my instagram stories because there were four bags on my wish list and you guys voted that I should add this one next and that you wanted a review of it so this review is for you and if you're not following me on Instagram I love to interact with you on stories so follow me there let's get into it I'm gonna start with the features of this bag the price is 795 the style is the midi maestra this is the middle size of the three bags that come in this style that you have the mini and then the regular maestra this bag can be worn top handle it does have a shoulder strap which is fully adjustable and removable so if you like to carry this as a top handle then you can completely remove this strap you can also pull the straps through like this and it becomes a backpack you often have to add a little extra length if you're gonna wear it as a backpack just from the shoulder drop it has a pocket in the back. I typically put this little card that I swipe in and out of my building with in this pocket. It makes it super convenient. On the bottom, it has four very sturdy feet, which I love, so you don't have to worry about the bottom of this bag. It's super durable. On the front, it has this like pinhole closure. I have two holes where you can adjust it. I find that when you pack it to the brim, you do have to put it on the lower hole, which when it's empty, it's like, oh, you would never use it. But trust me, when it gets full, you definitely need this second hole. When you open the bag up, it's lined in this beautiful fabric that's very durable. And despite the lighter color, I have found wears pretty well. It's the same fabric in my other Senriv bag, which I've had for a while, and it's held up beautifully. You have the zip top. I honestly, I think this is a function. If you live in a city, it's great to have this zipped up if you're on the train, but I live in Dubai. It's very safe here. And I honestly wear the bag like this. Zip is open because then there's not as much fuss getting in and out of the bag. So the function is great to have. Like if I was traveling and bringing this bag and I was in a city like New York or London where I'm walking around, I have it as a backpack maybe. But in Dubai, it's a little unnecessary because it's such a safe city. Inside you have a ton of pockets and you also have little key thing. So we'll start in the back. There's this snap pocket. You can fit an iPad in here, which I'll show you later. Then you have three pockets here and you have these two pockets here in the front, a zipper pocket here. There is definitely not a lack of pockets in this bag. It's super organized. I would say it's a great work bag. This bag is in the pebbled leather. The color is called mauve and it is with silver hardware. I'm going to put the bag to the side and talk to you about the pros and cons of the bag. First pro is the number of pockets. If you like to be organized like I do, there is like a pocket for every single little thing. Second pro is the ways to wear. You can wear it, you know, on the shoulder, you can wear it as a backpack, you can wear it as a top handle. And if you predominantly like to wear it as a top handle, you can completely remove the strap that turns it into a backpack or a shoulder bag. This is the biggest one for my Dubai based followers like me. The shipping and duties are included in the price of the bag. It came shipped via DHL. I didn't pay anything additional on top of the bag when receiving it. it. Came within like three days of ordering it, which I think the estimated time was between five and seven days. So I was shocked to see it turn up early and obviously super happy. If you live in Dubai like me, you know that ordering from companies that are not based here can be a little bit of a headache sometimes. Another pro is a security. If you live in a city like New York or London where you're using the tube or the subway, I would personally feel secure wearing this as a backpack because I'll just show you really quick. If you zip this up and close the bag and it's on your back, 
yes there is a tiny gap here but if someone tries like look if I'm trying to put my hand in here you're gonna know so if someone tries to stick their hand in and steal something it's not like they can just reach down in and grab it like if you're using a tote bag so I feel like the security is very good on this bag and yeah it can make it more cumbersome but when you don't need that added security you can leave that zip unzipped and it makes getting in and out of it much easier another pro is the colors to choose from Sunroof doesn't do a lot of bags but the styles that they do they make them in a rainbow of colors there will definitely be a color to suit your wardrobe and I suggest picking a color that will really work with the items that you have in your wardrobe I wear a lot of pink so pink was the option for me. I think the biggest part of this bag is the durability of the leather. Like hands down, that is the best thing about this bag because I haven't traveled with this one yet, but I have traveled with my Aria belt bag. I have spilt gelato on it. I have got caught in the rain with it. You just wipe it off and it's good. I don't know many bags that I can be so carefree about. Like I would almost compare it to a Louis Vuitton canvas in terms of durability because those are also bags where you can just kind of wipe whatever falls on it off and it's fine. I have another pro to this bag. I definitely had to watch some reviews because this is mostly an online based brand so to find out about the size and what it fits and things like that you kind of have to go to reviews online. So I'm gonna state this pro, but people get roasted in their comments for saying this, but I'm going to explain why it's a pro. So I wanna say that the understated design is a super pro to this bag. Now, I like to have a nice, well-made leather handbag pretty much at all times. And when, especially when I travel to a new country where I don't know how safe it is or whatever it might be, I don't want to carry my Chanel or like Louis Vuitton logo th bags and Senriv fills a void in my collection where I can still use a quality handmade leather bag and it not scream that it's so expensive. Counter argument and why people roast YouTubers who say this in the comments is they say, well if you're so worried about security why don't you just get a paper bag? Yes, that's a valid argument. You could go to H&M and just get a cheap bag and take it on your trip. In any major city, there are streets that are safer than others. When I carry my Aria belt bag around a city that I don't know, people don't really know it. Like it's a small understated, but it's still nice enough that I can take it out to a fine dining restaurant in the evening. So that's why I say this is a pro to the bag. Roast me if you like in the comments. I know this is not a pro for everyone, but for someone who has designer bags and a luxury bag collection and likes to carry quality made bags, this is a pro. Do you think it's true or not? That's your decision, but for me, this is actually the reason I bought my Aria belt bag and I bought that bag before ever working with Senrev. And this is just my honest opinion about it. Let's get into a few of the cons because there are some. When you fill this bag to the brim with stuff, it can get heavy. But what I do like about it is that they have the option to wear it as a backpack because I feel like that distributes the weight better. But if you're carrying it in the hand or on the shoulder and you've got this thing packed out, it will be heavy. The only other bags I could think of at this size would be maybe like a tote that would be lighter. I don't find it a problem for me. It definitely weighs less than a medium Balenciaga City. It's around a similar weight as a Givenchy Antigona as well. One thing I'm gonna show you which you'll see more on the modeling shots is when you wear it on the shoulder it does tilt forward I like when I'm just carrying it around I carry it mostly like on my arm or I carry it as a backpack when I have a lot of stuff in it for me it's not really a big deal because I use mine in other ways but what I when I will say it gets annoying is if opened it up and unzipped it and I'm I've got my key out and then I just want to keep it like on my shoulder like this as I walk from the elevator to my door and like unlock my door and I have groceries in my hands, things can fall out of it. It's probably best to close it and reopen it, but I understand that can be cumbersome. Another con is that they mainly sell online and they don't have many stores where you can go and try the bags. They do have a few stores, but if you don't live near them, you most likely have to rely on online reviews 
and blog posts and Instagram posts to decide what size. The good thing is is they do have a return and exchange policy. You just kind of have to do some research online first and see it compared on other people. Another con is that if you're not needing a daily work bag, this is quite big. I think personally for my lifestyle, I'm not always carrying so much with me, so a mini size would be better for my lifestyle. But if you are commuting, I think this is a great bag because you can fit a water bottle in there and things like that. It's one more con, and this is not one that I've seen other people talk about yet. And it is something I have found through use that annoys me personally. Not enough that I would not get this bag. It's just, it's almost like I would say it's an adjustment. The pockets inside are different sizes. It's going to be really hard to show on camera, but each pocket is a different size. And this big pocket here, you can fit your whole hand so your thumb and everything can get down to the bottom of the pocket. But this pocket is just slightly slimmer and you can't really get your whole hand in there. So when you're digging for something, and you just wanna like, you know, you have to get to the bottom of the pocket, pinch it out, You, your thumb does not reach the bottom of the pocket. There's only one pocket that can fit your entire hand easily to get those small bits and bobs from the pocket. So what I do is just make sure that the things that I'm putting in the slimmer pockets are things I can reach from the top. And then like my small things, like I always have Listerine strips with me, they go in this larger pocket where it can fit my whole hand in. If they were like half an inch to an inch less deep, you could reach the bottom of every pocket, but they're not, so it's a little difficult. And also, this pocket in the middle is not a lipstick pocket. I did that, the lipstick goes all the way down, and then you have to try to get two fingers in <laughs> to get the lipstick out. It's a pocket for your pins. So, cause the pin sticks out at the top. Just have to get used to what pocket fits what. Don't drop your key in the wrong pocket. I've done that a few times and it's very irritating. So I should probably be smart and put my key on this. But since most of my bags don't have this, I often forget about this and I just drop my key in a pocket and then I'm stuck digging like in my bag because I've put it in the wrong size pocket. I'll scooch you in a bit closer to show you what fits inside the bag. It's quite large, so I went ahead and packed it and I'm just gonna like unload it. So first I'll show you. Um, this is it, like packed, pretty full. You can fit more things in there, but then you would have to use the second hole here if you wanted to fit maybe like, you could fit a water bottle on the top. But this way it closes all the way, which I like the bag to be closed here, so I, wouldn't really pack it more than this. Have a reusable bag. Have a tiny tangle teaser brush. I have my wallet. This is my normal wallet I always use. My glasses case. My mini pouchette filled with my like tiny things. In the pockets, in one pocket I have my smaller Jo Malone perfume. In the second pocket here I have a small hand cream and a hand sanitizer. In the third pocket here, I have just like a little wet wipe. I always keep one in my bag and a lip gloss. In the back pockets, all I've put right now is my pen. And then in this pocket, I would put my car key and house key. I just forgot to get them. In the back pocket, I have an iPad. And I have a notebook. So yeah, you could fit some more small things. In the zip pocket, I would just keep a few um, more secretive things that we ladies all know that we keep in our bags. For reference, I'm about five foot six inches tall. This is what the bag looks like on me. This is the bag on your arm. You can also carry it like in the hand. Here it is on the shoulder. And see what I mean? It just like hangs off the body just a little bit. Find I just kind of like rest my arm on it like this almost. You can pull the straps through and wear it as a backpack. Typically give a little more room so the backpack would hang lower, but this is just to show you what it looks like on. To give you a comparison, this is it next to my Givenchy Antigona in the size small. They're almost the same from the side. But from the front, you can see this has more of a square shape and this is kind of rounded at the top. But on the body, they're 
almost the same. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it informative. This video is not sponsored by them, even though I am an ambassador with them. I am not required with how I work with them to do any YouTube content. Actually, it's all just Instagram content. I'm doing this review for you guys because on my Instagram stories when I unbox this, many of you asked for this review and I wanted to use it and really get to know the bag before telling you what I thought about it. So leave me any questions that you have in the comments below. I'll be happy to answer them there. And if you do happen to want to order a Senrif bag, I do have a code. I will leave it in the description below. Leave me any questions you have in the comments below and I'll be happy to answer them there. Please consider subscribing and join my little luxury family. And follow me on Instagram to see how I style my bags and use them in my daily life. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.